Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. And if you're just visiting, please consider subscribing. So I don't often do reviews on, you know, brand new fragrance releases, but sometimes these releases really pick my interest and sometimes, you know, I decide, okay, I just have to try it and I blind buy and I want to share my thoughts with you. Today, I'm going to share with you my thoughts on the new Kayali release. What's the full name? Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli 64. Okay, another long name. Basically, we're going to call it Vanilla Royale, which just arrived. Now, I know there have been a lot of videos on this fragrance already. So, you know, if you're bored of them, I totally understand. But if my opinion is interesting to you, please watch and thank you for watching. Now, I want to say I purchased this fragrance with my own money. So, as always, my opinions are going to be completely honest. Now, like I said, it just arrived. You can see it is still packaged. So we're going to unpackage this together. I'm going to give you my first impressions. Then I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to let this fragrance play and I'm going to finish recording either later tonight or I might even come back tomorrow uh, just to give you sort of a full review on this fragrance, you know, regarding performance etc. But let's start by unboxing it together. So let's hope <laughs> this unboxing is quick and uh, simple. Okay, sorry about the noises. Okay, <laughs> here's the box. I'm sure you've seen it many times, you know, standard Kayali packaging. This bottle is gold. Everything is gold, very shiny, beautiful. There we go. So let's spray this and see what we think. I'm going to roll up my sleeve and spray this. I'm in beautiful atomizer as always. So Let's read the notes first, and then I'll tell you how it smells initially. So the notes in here are rum, vanilla orchid, jasmine, leather, vanilla, spicy notes, creme brulee, tonka bean, rose, patchouli, oud, brown sugar, regular sugar, musk, and amber. The fragrance definitely sounds complicated based on the notes. And I will tell you honestly why I jumped on this release and why I just had to try it. Obviously, when I heard that it was a vanilla fragrance, well, we all know I love vanilla. That was number one. But number two, when I heard about the notes, there is a note of creme brulee. And, you know, if you ask me, what is the fragrance that you want to create? What note does it have to have in it? I would tell you creme brulee because, you know, I love gourmands. And as many gourmands as I have and I have tried, I don't have anything that really smells like creme brulee. So, when I saw this note, it was like, yeah, I gotta have it. I gotta try it. I really, really hope that I get some creme brulee in this fragrance. So we will see. Okay, let's smell. Okay, this is, this is complex. Yes, as the notes suggest, this is not your straightforward vanilla. This is not their vanilla what is it, vanilla 28 or whatever? No, no, no. This is a lot more complex. Now, I actually don't get a lot of sweetness at the beginning. I really don't. It's not like the note of vanilla is just jumping at me. It is not. I do get this slightly smoky combination, which to me, I think is the combination of oud and leather. So I can't say that I'm getting oud or leather individually, 
but I do get this slightly smoky combination, which to me suggests that it's the mixture of these two together. Now, I don't, there are some spicy notes in here. I don't get spiciness. Do I get florals? Not really. I do get some sweetness, but it's not vanillic sweetness. And is vanilla, yeah, vanilla is a note. Okay. I don't know what sweetness this is. Perhaps it's brown sugar. And maybe it is a little bit combined with this creme brulee because it has a slightly, I don't know, creamy, milky vibe to it, this sweetness. Like the fragrance overall is definitely not like tonic, but the sweetness to me has a little bit of, yeah, creaminess or milkiness or something like that. So perhaps it's the brown sugar with creme brulee that I'm getting. So that's kind of the opening of this fragrance for me. I am starting to see already that um, the sweetness is starting to come out a little bit more. And that smokiness, that combination of uh, wood and leather is starting to go down a little bit. But we need to give it some time. So these are my initial thoughts on this one, uh, Vanilla Royale. I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to come back. Uh, this is, it is quite early today, quite early in the morning. So I do have full day to play with this. So most likely I'm going to come back uh, later tonight and I'm going to tell you how this fragrance developed, how it behaved, how it lasted, projected, etc. So I will see you a little bit later. Okay, it is much later now. I've had a chance to wear this fragrance for probably around six hours or so. And so now I can share with you sort of what happened with the fragrance during those about six hours. Now, the fragrance is still here. It is still going strong. So in, in my books, this is a long lasting fragrance for sure. I mean, if it lasts over six hours, it is definitely long lasting because in general, fragrances don't last very long on me. Now, as far as the projection goes, I would say it's not extremely projecting, you know, uh, for the first few hours, it was projecting a little bit more. Now it doesn't project all that much. So projection is mild to moderate, I would say, but longevity is definitely great. Now, how has the scent developed? I can't say that there has been a huge development. I mean, it hasn't changed a lot. Now, I said at the beginning that there was a lot of this smokiness, which was kind of, in my opinion, this oud and leather combination. It, it is still here a little bit, but it has definitely mellowed out. It's more in the background now. And I feel like this smokiness has been a little bit replaced by... Um, slight earthiness, so patchouli. I get a little bit of patchouli in here, but to my nose, you know, I thought that patchouli would be stronger because patchouli is actually in the name. I expected a stronger patchouli. It's not very strong. In my opinion, it's not very strong at all. Maybe it's because I enjoy this note and so it doesn't jump at me. Perhaps for those of you who don't like this note, you will actually feel the opposite way. Maybe for you, it will be strong because you really, you know, when you don't like something, you really pick it up strongly. For me, it's not very strong. It is here and it is really, you know, I get the name sugared patchouli because it definitely has that kind of slightly sugared texture, you know, and the sweetness um, amplified a bit from the beginning, but it is still not too sweet. Again, I expected it to be sweeter, but it's not that sweet. Like it doesn't have that real, real strong vanillic sweetness. It's more, I actually don't get a lot of vanilla in here. Like there is sweetness. And for me, like I said at the beginning, and I feel it even more so now, I feel this combination of brown sugar and really creme brulee. I do get a little bit of that because this has this, you know, this 
creamy kind of texture that, you know, uh, creme brulee has, you know, that soft, creamy, airy, that fluffy texture. I sort of get a little bit of that. That's the kind of sweetness that I get in here. It's not overpoweringly sweet at all. It's, it's a lot less sweet than I expected it to be. Overall, it's a complex scent. It really is to me. Now, I haven't tried all of the Kayali fragrances, but I've tried quite a few. I think this is the most complicated scent, and I think this is the most interesting scent, really. Like, the scent profile here is really sending me more to the niche side of things, you know? Like, I find all the other of their scents, to me, they smell designer. Now, I'm not saying that's good or bad, but I just, you know, they're very mass appealing, in my opinion. This, I don't think will appeal to everyone because of that, I think, because of that smoky element that is quite present here, especially at the beginning. So I really like this one. I have to say, honestly, this is my favorite Kayali. This is definitely my favorite Kayali. And even though it is not as sweet as I expected it to be, I actually like it about it. It makes it more, sort of a little more sophisticated, a little more interesting, a little more complex. Like it doesn't have that you know, in your face, vanillic type of sweetness, like it's more reserved, it's more balanced, and it's done with a slightly different sort of flavor and texture to it. I also like the smokiness, you know, um, I think to some it might seem to might seem a little bit too much at the beginning, not for me, I really enjoy it. I love that I'm not getting oud and leather per se, but more they turn into this smoky element. Um, and then this sweet sort of fluffy, creamy, milky, I don't know, texture that it develops into, I really like as well. So yeah, I have to say this is a winner, guys. You know, uh, I've never been um, a Kayali fangirl, uh, you know, just putting it out there. I have been, in fact, quite critical of the brand. I I'm, I don't like how hyped up it is, how much everyone is hyping it up. I just, I don't know. I, I'm always skeptical towards brands like that, you know? And um, yeah, I don't have any other full bottles, but uh, you know what? I'm keeping this one. I really, really like it. Now, of course, I have to play with it more. I have want to explore it more, you know? I want to see... I want to see what I think about it after a few wears. Obviously, this has been one wear, you know? But initially, I really, really like it. I really like it. In my opinion, this is their best. To my nose, this is their best for sure. And I love that uh, it has good longevity. You know, for me, longevity is the most important thing in the performance of a fragrance. I know to some people, let's say it's projection. To me, it's not. Uh, I care less about, you know, how much others can smell me as long as it lasts on me and I can smell it and I can definitely smell this for quite some time. So this has good performance, which is a plus as well. So there you go. Here are my thoughts on this fragrance. Um, it gets two thumbs up from me. I have to say, I really, really like it. Again, first impression, but I really like it and I'm keeping this bottle. It's not going back. So yeah, please let me know. Have you tried this fragrance? Are you planning on trying it? Um, what are your thoughts on the brand overall? Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!